The World Leaders Summit at the UN Climate Change Conference, known as COP27, kicked off Monday with more than 100 heads of state or government. The summit is being held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, and began with an opening speech from UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. He warned that we are on a highway to climate hell. Here's a look at his warning. This UN Climate Conference is a reminder that the answer is in our hands. And the clock is ticking. We are in the fight of our lives, and we are losing. Greenhouse gas emissions keep growing. Global temperatures keep rising. And our planet is fast approaching tipping points that will make climate chaos irreversible. We are on a highway to climate hell with our foot still on the accelerator. The war in Ukraine, other conflicts, have caused so much bloodshed and violence and their dramatic impacts all over the world. But we cannot, we cannot accept that uh, our attention is not focused on climate change. We must, of course, work together to support peace efforts and then the tremendous suffering. But climate change is on a different timeline and a different scale. It is the defining issue of our age. It is the central challenge of our century. It is unacceptable, outrageous and self-defeating to put it on the back burner. According to the UN's official website, COP27 presents an opportunity for all stakeholders to come together to find concrete solutions to the global climate emergency including on mitigation, adaptation and resilience, loss and damage, and climate finance. The climate finance concept known as loss and damage is expected to be center stage at the summit and is the idea that wealthy countries, having admitted the most planet warming gases, should pay poorer countries who are now suffering from climate disasters they had little to no participation in creating. A new article from CNN dives deep into loss and damage, noting that it's been a contentious issue for years. According to CNN, rich countries, including the United States, fear that agreeing to a loss and damage fund could open them up to legal liability and even potential lawsuits. Pakistan is among the nations calling for the creation of a loss and damage fund to aid them after enduring both a deadly heat wave and the worst floods in history, which have both occurred this year. Pakistan is responsible for less than 1% of the world's planet warming emissions. The Pakistani government conducted an internationally supported study in October that found the recent catastrophic floods in Pakistan have inflicted more than $30 billion in damages and economic losses. Given Pakistan's limited fiscal resources, significant international support and private investment will be essential for a comprehensive and resilient recovery, the assessment said. The annual climate change conference is scheduled to continue until November 18th, with most world leaders planning to attend for one to two more days. The topic of loss and damage will be debated, and undoubtedly the climate crisis in Pakistan will be a hot topic. Make sure to follow for more information on the summit, and thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com, stay informed, and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.